Let's take that into injury prevent prevention. Like I said yesterday, people are looking to the nervous system to try to prevent injuries by trying to teach the nervous system to perfect movement. But as I've been saying, there's no such thing as perfect movement. And I gave the example of Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods has swung a golf club millions of times, but it doesn't mean he's not gonna tank a shot here and there, he does. What does that tell us? It tells us that you cannot perfect movement, ever. There's too many variables. Therefore, there's always the opportunity that something is going to go awry and that there's gonna be increased load on a tissue. And if you do not build the tissue absorption capacity to load, you will get injured. So as opposed to watching someone move and saying that, oh, you're moving in a certain way, let me help you move better to, to prevent injury, that's fine. But you still have to increase the, the actual tissue's load absorbing capacity. Even if you correct a neurological pattern, so someone's squatting with their hands above their head and they start to lean forward and that's not right, you don't like the way they do that, that's fine. You can correct it all you want. But the fact of the matter is, even if you teach them to move perfectly, the tissues that are involved in the movement are, are being under, they're being loaded. Okay, so if you want to prevent injury, when that movement goes awry, and it will go awry, when shit hits the fan, you need to have built tissue capacity or load absorption in order to deal with that incorrect movement. Just correcting the nervous system is not going to do it, because when the movement goes wrong, and you lean into one tissue a little bit too much and that tissue had not, a, you didn't teach the tissue to absorb, absorb more load, you're gonna injure yourself. So part of injury prevention is increasing the load absorption capacity of the tissues involved in the movement, not only correcting the movement. If you only correct the movement and you don't increase the load absorbing capacity, when it goes wrong, you're gonna get an injury. You can teach someone to run perfectly but when they run and they hit that rut and they go over on their ankle, I don't care how good your stride is. The fact is, if that ATFL cannot absorb the load when the movement goes wrong, you're blowing out your ATFL. Doesn't matter how much you've perfected the stride, doesn't matter how good your nervous system's functioning, when something goes wrong, the tissue needs to be able to absorb load. That's how we prevent injuries, by increasing load absorption capacity. Anybody have any questions with that?